Yo puedo caminar por todas partes. En mi pueblo eso era lo que hacía. Take a right. Not a left, a right. I can't hear you, dear. You gotta speak up. Oh, crap. Cops. Pueblo, yo caminaba por todas partes. Oh, dear, you have such a fun job, you know? Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God! What? Feels a little weird I'm finally getting my license. Never did think twice about it, well, until now. Didn't need it in high school, and when I went out east to go to college, nobody drives out there. You can keep going straight. Well, that's new. That Copies R Us? That used to be Copy World. <laughs> Funny, isn't it, Lena? It's a nice day. Uh, don't you think they interchange one store with the exact same store? You know, like uh, fast food becomes fast food again, or video rentals become bigger video rentals. That's one thing I miss about New York, is when one store closes, the next one is completely different. You can go a little faster. You know, my dad used to own a pawn shop before he got sick. It's just funny because he's sold it to another pawn owner. Yep, just gently apply your foot to the gas. That's why I'm here, is help him out. He can't drive himself and anymore. And then the next turn, take a left. Strange being back. I always felt a little bit lonely in New York, but I don't think I've ever felt as alone as I do now. And you can pull over. Um, that will wrap up today's lesson. That's how I missed the gold by a tenth of a second. But I took silver just fine. That's amazing. Wow. Yes. Well, you take care now. Bye. It was a pleasure meeting you. Yes. Well, all right. Well, that ring was the bell, so time to move on. Hello, I'm Lena Olinger. Hey, Lena. What do you do? I'm an exotic dancer. Really? Have you seen Showgirls? It is loosely based on my experiences as a Vegas showgirl. I lived with apes for five years. I co-wrote Juno with Diablo Cody. I know, she totally snubbed me in the credits. I'm a Pulitzer Prize winner for my article on New Orleans' failed levies and FEMA's response. I am a neurosurgeon at the hospital. I just got done with my shift. That's why I look so unkept. No, oh, you're not. You're my driving instructor. Don't you recognize me? You must have me mistaken for somebody else. You're lying. You work at DriveSafe, that driving school down on 4th Street. How dare you call me a liar? You know what? You ignored me all day in the car. I'm not about to sit here and listen to a bunch of lies. No, wait, wait. I'll be honest. <sighs> I come to these events every week so I don't feel so alone. Well, if you feel so alone, how come you're lying to every guy in here? <sighs> Any one of them would die to have a chance to take you out. Yeah, right. Why would anyone want to get to know a driving instructor? Do you know who my coworkers are? They're 60-year-old, fat, balding men. I tried being honest, and no one cared. I had to lie in order for anyone to listen to me. But I'm here now. And I'm enthralled with you. And you're telling the truth. Maybe you just met someone who doesn't know you for you. Tell me something about yourself. Something real. <sighs> My favorite book is The Divine Comedy because Dante writes this entire love poem traveling through hell to find his one true love. 
And Heaven's Grace is depicted in her beauty. It's my favorite book, too. Wait. Don't worry. Dante can find Beatrice. I can find you. Hi. My name is Paul, and, and I collect Pez dispensers. Do you know which one's my favorite? It's this one, right here. Hey, hey, this one, this one, this one right here. Interesting. Tell me about it. Just waiting for the light to change everything.